A lot of them want transparency when it comes to what their children have access to in school. Other parents want acceptance and understanding when it comes to different lifestyles and ideas. There were 600 people here at Stout Elementary School yesterday. Many parents were greeted by metal detectors and extra police officers on standby. And yes, conversation became intense at some points, but overall things ran smoothly as parents were able to let out their grievances. Impassioned parents packing out Stout Middle School during Dearborn's school board meeting. Look at how you act and your children you guys are watching. Six books at the center of the conflict, four with LGBTQ themes. A group of parents wanting them removed from school library shelves feel they are sexually explicit, too violent, and not age appropriate. Well, how do these books even end up in our library? That's the biggest thing. I mean, these books are really bad. I, when I'm looking at it, I cringe. They don't belong in the hands of 13, 14, 15 year old kids. Stop pretending this is about protecting children from books. We all know this is about erasing our LGBTQ students and staff. It was literally written on signs people brought to the meeting on Monday. Because of the outcry, no students can check out the books under question while the board reevaluates their process on reviewing books. I am sick of the only books that my son can read are about slavery and lynching, things that I find disgusting. Those are things that I hate. Right now, Dearborn Public Schools policy states a parent has the right to restrict their child's access to certain books, but they have to ask. What happens when the parents who don't read or speak English why is it on them to try to, op to opt out? They don't know what's going on. Parents who insist the books be permanently banned, presenting a resolution to the board, demanding an open door policy and a more transparent and interactive book analysis process before students can check them out. I believe there should be a process to review these books before they even get in our schools, not a review process once they're in our schools. Now, the school board actually didn't vote on anything pertaining to their book policy during last night's meeting, but during their next school board meeting, that resolution that those parents presented will be on the agenda. Live in Dearborn, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News. I mean, you can see there a polarizing issue. People definitely have a lot of emotion when it comes to this topic, and we will be following it closely. Kiara, thank you for your reporting.